on Tuesday, I have my shallow lasso in. <coughs> We've looked at hitting the Omanpada when Carl's on his knees. Looked at several sweeps we can do when he's standing. Another thing Carl can do from here, he can drop to combat base. So he's gonna drop down. A lot of times people will make a grip on this lapel and get ready to start their passing options. Now, first thing we're looking for is, is his elbow on the inside or the outside? If his elbow's on the outside, I'll just grab the collar, use my foot on his hip to create a slight angle, and then I'm just going to kick that through and then my hold. So one more time now. Playing the lasso again, the shadow lasso. Carl decides to drop to a combat base, which is one foot planted and one knee on the mat. If his um, elbow is to the outside of his knee, I can go straight for the one plot again. So I'll make that collar grip, I'll use my foot on his hip to create that little bit of an angle, and then I just leg press over. I want to make sure the bite of the back of my knee is over his elbow, and then I'll be using that to find his elbow. Usual story, head above hips, find the elbow, find the grip, lift my hips, so the car's taking my weight, curling the back on the ball of my foot, creating tension in that arm, and then I'm just leaning forward. So that's our first option. Second option <coughs> is, he knows a little bit more jujitsu. so when he drops to combat base, his elbow is on the inside. So you're not going to have the profile to hit the omoplata from here. So another thing we can be thinking about is just hitting like an omoplata bar, an arm bar from here. So again, it's just creating a little bit of space here so that I can get Charles' elbow away from his hip. So all I'm going to do from there is, if I'm going for this, I will switch my grips from a wrist sleeve control to a thumb grip. Okay, and then I'm taking this foot off the shoulder and I really want my hamstring pushing on Carl's right knee just to create a little bit of space this way. The second I get this elbow in line with my knee, my other knee is going to find the shoulder, and I'm just going to hit this for the one plot of bar. And again, I'll either get that, or his reaction is to turn from when he turns, straight up into finding that elbow, and I'm back into When we talked about Charles trying to lift his shoulder off the mat, I'm going to walk backwards, reverse, reverse, and start putting tension in that shoulder. So again. From here, he drops the combat base. Now his elbow's on the inside, so we need to go down into another route. So from there, if I'm attacking this omoplata bar, I'm gonna switch from sleeve control to the thumb grip. I'm gonna take my foot off his shoulder and put the back of my knee against Carl's the top of his right knee. And he just starts start to do a little leg press and you'll, you'll feel his elbow coming away from his hip. The minute they get that reaction, the inside of my right knee is gonna just make a clamp on his elbow. And then my free hand, I just sort of hit this a little bit. Okay, but his reaction will be to turn. The minute he turns, I'm finding that elbow, kicking my leg over, nothing's changed, switch grips, find this, load my weight onto them, walk backwards. Tension in that arm. So, there we go, that guy. 